Susia is softly screaming through small shards of sharp stones and little puddles of water that crawl out of broken wells chanting, let us exist, let us exist, let us exist, and then melt away into sunlight. Can't you hear them? The bulldozers, their mouths full of tarps and houses and dignity. Can't you see? We have archaeology as proof of our history. You Arabs are squatters, invaders, intruders, Ishmaelites. Get out! Susia is softly singing the song of a village that remembers a village that remembers a village that was. Will Susia be remembered as a village, or, would, or will history record it as dust? Mm. It is time to stop speaking poetics and talk of what is my government, which claims to have something to do with Judaism, which as far as I know has something to do with having been strangers, which has something to do with loving the stranger, which has something to do with the strangeness of love. My government has laid plans for Susia to be demolished. Not one house, not five houses, all of the houses. My government you have forgotten the dictate of loving the stranger. My government, you have forgotten the dictators and how they treated us when we were strangers. My government, when I stand with Susia, you will call me a traitor, but my government, you are mistaken. Supporters of my government, you are mistaken. Lovers of my government, you are mistaken. Because Susia is a Palestinian village, but it is far more Jewish than your cocks and ready rifles. Susia is a Palestinian village, but it is far more Jewish than your hungry caterpillar. Susia is a Palestinian village, but it is far more Jewish than you are.